having a relationship with a spiritual person or relationships in spirituality in general is a very tricky subject it's not easy a lot of people who go through a spiritual awakening or they start seeing spirits and demons and they get into the occult and they realize that they're with someone who doesn't understand them someone who's not at the same level as them and this always ends up in either breakups or problems and people just don't know how to cope with it so in this case scenario I want to share something with you about relationships when you are an occultist a spiritual person or just embracing who you are and connecting to the spirit realm one thing that you need to realize is that it's never about being with someone it's never about looking for someone to complete you it's never about trying to figure out or trying to find this person it's not always about finding the right person for you first of all you have to figure out who you are you have to be okay with yourself you have to find out who you are so when you start to awaken to your true nature you have to be okay being by yourself what most people do is try to look for someone they would have problems they would have issues they would have traumas they never solve them they never embrace their darkness they never know who they are and they try to find a person and by finding that person they project everything onto that person they say you don't make me happy you don't fulfill me you don't take me places you're not the best person for me and of course that ends up in a breakup because why would you want someone else to fulfill you you have to fulfill yourself by yourself first and once you do so once you solve your own problems and you find out who you are by yourself and this could require you to be by yourself for months and months maybe weeks maybe months maybe it takes years for some people when you're by yourself and you find out who you are by yourself the right person shows up it shows up for you and then with this person you can start doing things together such as exploring the world or traveling or you could still do your own thing but this other person is just there as like a bonus it's not there to complete who you are it's not there to make you who you are it's there as a bonus it's there to make what you're going through even better and that's what people most people don't realize they think the other person is supposed to do things for them that's for normal people that's for boring people that's for normal humans and that's okay that's what they choose normal people think a couple needs to come in together to complete each other and to build a life together and to have kids and so on and so forth but the gifted people the spiritual people the awakened ones that's not what they're meant to do what they're meant to do is to first figure out who they are they're meant to be comfortable by themselves wherever in the world they, they're supposed to be okay by themselves and once they're okay by themselves and once they figure out who they truly are then the right person that can spice up the bonus person i call it will show up in their life and then they can do a lot of things together and they might not necessarily live together it's not always about living together it's not always about being together all the time you can maybe meet once in a while you're with a person and you share a lot of things with them you're with, you're with them once in a while but it doesn't mean that you have to be with them all the time and that's another thing that a lot of people get wrong they think that you have to be with the other person 24 7 again that's for normal people it's not for the gifted ones so this hopefully will help you realize that it's not about finding the other person it's not about finding your twin flame or soulmate you will find each other when you're ready but when are you ready you're ready when you figure out first who you are by yourself on your own by yourself when you're by yourself as in there's no one around you no friends no family i know it sounds harsh you're on your own you're with spirit and you know what you're all about you know what you want to do for yourself you're full on your own 100 percent on your own you're full you're complete on your own you're a king you're a queen on your own and once you hit that once you hit that level then then the right person shows up to make you even higher to make you feel higher and you also make them feel higher but you and them 
you separately, you're still 100%, 100%. You're still the king, you're still the king, you're still the queen, you're still the queen. You know, you're still, you're, you're fabulous, you're magnificent on your own. But together, it's even higher, it's even better. And you start bringing in each other something magical. A lot of humans, once they go through a spiritual awakening or they have, or the gifted ones, they start thinking that being with their soulmate or twin flame or with someone in general is going to solve their problems. It's going to make them feel better. They think that it's going to, that it's, that it's going to be the holy grail that's going to show them the way to enlightenment, to figuring out everything. And usually the opposite happens. Usually when you don't know who you are, when you're not full on your own, when you try to rush and just impose uh, your needs and your lacks onto someone and that someone might fall for you what usually happens is that you start projecting that uh, incompleteness onto the other person what doesn't complete you you start projecting it onto the other person and it ends up in havoc it ends up in destruction and it ends up in hate in breakups and you don't want that because maybe you're gonna meet your twin flame or your soulmate maybe it's them but you don't want to go through that negativity with them so first figure out who you are on your own and even if you think you have met the right person make sure you're not with each other 24 7 you can be with each other but every now and then take time for yourself take weeks for yourself take a couple weeks for yourself take one month for yourself every now and then because you need that, because you're the master, because you're different, because you're not boring, you're not a normal person. That is something that even in the spiritual community, even you're not going to hear this because it's all about soulmates and twin flames and being with someone else. Being by yourself is the key to connect into the spirit realm, to connect into the underworld, to unlocking your powers, and finally, to finding the right person for you. And that's what I want to share with you.